The Marching Roundtable's appearance on tour with the Blue Coats was made possible by Stanberry Uniforms, found at stanberry.com. Hey everybody, I am back with Kristen. Kristen, what's your name again? Your Kristen last name? Walters. Okay, and Kristen is doing sewing and working miracles for the blue coats <laughs> in the uniform world. And you were telling me that you figured out how to paint the band shoes, the yes. core shoes. Yep. So there's, you figured out a special technique. How did you, can you tell me about the story? Um, so I walked into a Lowe's <laughs> and they actually have a Flex 365 paint that is malleable um, and it doesn't crack when you bend it. Um, and it's also water and weatherproof because it's exterior house paint. <laughs> okay, what's the name again? Flex three, it's like three six, six five. Oh, like three hundred sixty five days a year. Right. At Lowe's, and so they have it in different colors. Yep, you can color match it. So like I took a color swatch of the color that Greg wanted the shoes to be, and we just took it and they matched it and then made it. So you started this last year with the gray shoes. Yes. yes that sir. was your first discovery of this. Yes. You said something about a Nerf ball. That's where you figured it out? Yep, so they had a Nerf ball on the counter at Lowe's and then like you squished it and the paint didn't crack on the Nerf ball. So then I was like, oh, that's how that's how shoes move. So, so that's your answer to how to get the shoes a certain color to match the uniform mm -hmm. for the year. Okay, yep. and this year you painted them blue. Yes, the sir. specific blue that Greg wanted that matched. <laughs> yes. So how do you do this? You painted all of them yourself? This yeah. is quite interesting, people. Like, <laughs> it's quite the production. I'm very impressed you're so, you're, the initiative you had. So how did you do it? Um, so we took all the shoelaces out, and then I actually suited up in one of those body painter suits that have the little feet in like, the Sort hood. of like a hazmat suit almost. Like, yes. Okay, okay, And keep then going. I just took like a regular house paint sprayer, and then I just held them up and got all of the sides of the shoe. And then I had um, our costume intern, uh, Tiffany Moyers. She was helping me um, get all of the shoes in and out. And so you, you hold them in your hand one by one? <laughs> And just, and then spray, just spray them. Spray them all of the sides, and then she, and then I put them on a cart, and she takes them inside to dry for 24 hours, and then we rebox them all. And we got specific laces. We were able to order those online this year. Like that are in the right color. Mm -hmm. Didn't even think about the laces part. <laughs> okay, so you showed me this. Like you laid out a giant sheet. Yeah. And then you're there with the sprayer and you're sort of covered so that you're not getting completely yep. blue. But you ended up a little bit blue. Yeah, I had paint in my hair. I would imagine. <laughs> How long did it take for that to come out? Oh, just a couple of washes. Just a couple of washes? Okay. <laughs> well, this is very good. So if anybody's out there wanting to paint their band <laughs> shoes or their core shoes or whatever, Lowe's Flex, Lowe's Flex 365 or contact me and I can put you in touch with Kristen or yeah, I will leave it like that. Yes. I don't, I'm, okay. So Perfect. thanks for talking to me. I'm very impressed. That's a lot of work. <laughs> it's fun. It's so my favorite part. When you're watching the Blue Coat Show, notice their shoes and think <laughs> of Kristen. Thanks. Thanks. Find other interviews and videos from top DCI designers, instructors, and marchers, behind the scenes videos, interviews, and podcasts from winter camps, spring training, traveling during the season, and performances. All at marchingartseducation.com slash DCI-2019. The Marching Roundtable is proud to be an official media partner of Drum Corps International.